Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. It's such a great privilege again to hear a word of God from the Bible. So uh, for today's uh, reflection, we're going to learn uh, from the book of John chapter 1 verse 12. It says here, but to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. So it is really clear, my dear brethren, that if we did receive him as our personal savior, who is him? He is our Lord Jesus Christ and we believe that He is our Savior. We believe that He died for you and me at the cross of Calvary and we have, we have accepted Him as our personal Savior. We, commit, uh, we have committed our life unto Him. Then we have the right to become his children it's because it's really clear in the book of john chapter 12 that but to all who did received him and believed he in his name he gave the right to become children of god so we have the right as a children of God, as it's stated from this verse from the book of John. So, if you are a children of God, if you are one, if me and you are one of those became a children of God, we're going to experience father's love we're going to enjoy the immeasurable and unfathomable love by God that in any situation that we're going to encounter he delivers us out of the pit he embraces us when we are broken into pieces he gives us hope when we think it is the end, that there is no hope at all. He sees our future when we are struggled in our present. He feels our pain when no one does. He forgives when you cannot even forgive yourself sometimes we feel that way he gave his own life to redeem and rescue us so don't be afraid of our present situation there is no father who will let his children down if there is as a human but for our father the perfect father that we have he will never do that he will never leave us nor forsake us as he has promised so let us cling on to the promise of God let us claim the right that God has given us, that we have the right to become His children. We should embrace our Heavenly Father. We should stay in His presence. Try our best not to run away or to turn our back to that loving Father that we have. That is such a great privilege for us. To be one of those he called his children. 
always put it in our hearts and our minds that every time let us put always in, in, my, in our mind that every time that we are trying to turn our back against him he's always calling out waiting for us waiting for the moment that we're going to come back into his presence in the kneel down and bow down unto him yes we are not perfect but he called us into his righteousness and every day if we try to stay in his presence he will help us to grow he will help us to become holy and whole every day God's love is always there willing to embrace and accept who we are and forgive us is our father so my dear brethren if you are watching this video God is calling you your father is encouraging you to stay connected unto him to stay in his presence don't run away anymore Don't run away from the love of our God who will ever, who will always understand and accept us despite of all our disobedience, despite of all our sins, despite of all our weaknesses. He loves us. And no one, no one, there is no perfect father. more than him he alone is the perfect one so let us stay in his presence let us try our best to give him time in our time let us try our best to set us time in our busy schedules to talk to him and to let him know we love him as he loves us we did not choose to become his children he chose this first he chose you and me it's not an accident that you hear about God it's not an accident that you hear about Jesus it's not an accident that you hear a word from God it is him who called you, who chose you out of millions. It is him who chose to become his child. Because he loves you and me, he loves us. So my dear brethren, yes, we will be so busy because we have a lot of responsibilities we want this we want that but we always need to be reminded that we have god who is still willing to help us don't do it all alone by yourself let us involve god in every day and everything that we do let us call upon his name and he will be there he will be there he will be there he will never never leave you never leave us so my dear brethren let us cling upon him let us stay in his presence and may this message be an encouragement to each and every one of us not to turn back to our loving Father but to stay in His unfathomable love to experience the joy of being His children may God bless us all and thank you for your time